Hello everyone, I am Dr. Anupam here and I will be your instructor today. Today we will be discussing pressure control ventilation and we will discuss it under four headings determinants, time concept, graphics, advantages and disadvantages. So in the beginning under determinant section we will have four sub -headings. First one will be control variable. What is the control variable? As the name suggests, is the pressure. How much pressure to choose? Now it depends upon how much tidal volume you want. Ideally, you should target a tidal volume of 6 to 8 ml per kg and you should not go beyond 30 cm water of pressure because that will again produce barotrauma. So the second will be inspiratory phase variable and this will be again three types trigger either machine or time or, or time or patient which can be flow trigger or pressure trigger second will be limit pressure control ventilation will be pressure limited then cycle it will be time cycle that means we will set the inspected time and as soon as the time is over the ventilator will cycle the inspiration to acceleration now what is the third is called the baseline variable that will be peep and respiratory rate and respiratory rate has to be set depending upon how much minute ventilation you want to target although it is not certain but we will set like that only then there will be four four will be dependent variable and that will be volume you are not setting the volume so volume will change according to the resistance and compliance of the respiratory system now coming to the time concept so the total cycle time is equal to inspiratory time plus expiratory time and you can see that we have already selected the time so inspire time is constant that we have selected we have set it that means if you want to increase the expiratory time so we have to just reduce the respiratory rate so total cycle time in other ways it will be 60 second divided by respiratory rate so if you want to decrease the total cycle time because the inspired time is fixed expired time will automatically increase now how to know that we are giving an adequate inspired time that is very very important in this mode of ventilation so the question is how to set a proper inspiratory time that we can do by looking at the flow time scalar right so let's say this is the flow time scalar in evolution now see as the flow is going up this is the flow time scalar and the flow again is coming back this is the inspiratory time and then again it will cycle to acceleration so you can see that the flow is truncated in the midway so that means our inspiratory time is insufficient if you go on increasing the inspiratory time then gradually this truncation time period will decrease and a time will come when 
the flow will reach the baseline. So that is the time when you will consider that we have given enough inspiratory time so that it will maximize the tidal volume because the pressure will be maintained through this inspired time so that we can optimize the tidal volume. Now if you come to another formula, inspiratory time is equal to tidal volume by flow. Now here we are setting the inspiratory time, we are not setting the tidal volume or we are not setting the flow. So this thing will be variable. So that is, the, that is one of the advantages of pressure control ventilation where we are not setting the flow. So if patient's demand is high, flow will increase. So we can just rewrite it as tidal volume. We know that flow into resistance is equal to pressure. So, so flow will be equal to pressure by resistance. So just replacing it. So then tidal volume will be resistance is constant. Inspiratory time into pressure. So what are the determinants of tidal volume in pressure control ventilation? One is your inspiratory time. We have to optimize it by looking at the flow time scalar. Even after that also if the tidal volume you are thinking it's not adequate, then go on increasing the pressure, sub pressure control that you have set. Keeping in mind you cannot go beyond 30 cm of water. Even after that also volume may not be adequate because it depends upon respiratory system compliance and resistance correct so this is a very important concept to understand in pressure control ventilation now coming to the graphics the three scalar will be discussing time this is the volume, this is flow, and this is pressure. Now, since we are it is pressure controlled, it will be pressure is achieved very quickly by having a high flow in the beginning, then it is maintained for some time that is called the inspirated time, then it excels. Like the same thing cycle to acceleration right correct so we maintain over a certain period of time what will the flow away from Bec to maintain this pressure so pressure is acquired very quickly in the beginning by having a very high flow in the beginning but then to maintain that pressure for a period of inspiratory time the flow has to decrease gradually so it will have a ramp wave form then it will go like this So we have to be careful, it does not truncate before it reaches the baseline. That means you could have given more inspired time to produce more tidal volume, right? And then coming to volume, volume, it's not fixed because we have not set up the volume anywhere. So volume will change depending upon the resistance and compliance of the system. So it will be variable. The height will not be same, correct? So this is the ramp flow pattern, correct. So now coming to one of the advantages and disadvantages, these graphics will help us deciding it. First advantage or rather disadvantage I can say is minute ventilation is not guaranteed because you, we are not setting the tidal volume we are not setting the minute ventilation so it is not guaranteed you are only setting the pressure so the pressure can be achieved earliest if there is some kink there is some clot secretion or something is there so the pressure will be achieved earlier and by the time the tidal volume may not be delivered so patient will hyperventilate this is one of the biggest problem in uh, pressure control ventilation right so we have to if one alarm you have to set in pressure control ventilation that will be the volume alarm or main ventilation alarm right not guaranteed in comparison to
second advantage will be in this case mean airway pressure will be high as you have seen in the volume control ventilation the pressure time scalar was sloppy but here the pressure time scalar is not sloppy it is square the pressure is maintained for a certain period of time so you, if you take the average the main airway pressure will come high so because mean airway pressure is the pressure that determines the oxygenation so oxygenation is better that is the reason why sometimes in ads it is one of the preferred option third advantage will be because this pressure is sustained at a certain period of time recruitment is better recruitment is better even when the compliance of lung unit alveolar unit is less because the pressure is sustained over a period of time so alveolar is they will get time to be filling up and then otherwise in volume control ventilation what happened because there is a sloppy kind of pressure waveform pressure peaks then cycles so there is no time for the alveoli to get filled up so here recruitment is better even in low compliance alveoli four is synchrony is better why we have already discussed because flow we are not setting the flow anywhere we are just setting the inspired tank so the flow will vary according to the demand of the patient flow can vary so one of the thing is that flow can vary and second is initial flow is maximum to produce this pressure limit the of what you have said the initial flow will be maximum so initial flow is high that will produce a comfort in patient whose demand is high right but the same thing can become problematic in patient initial high flow is a disadvantage in patient who has who has high airway resistance it will produce what it can tip of the peak pressure alarm and terminate the breath number 6 obviously one of the advantage will be there will be no barotrauma because no barotrauma because you have controlled the pressure however if compliance of lung improves the same pressure can deliver high tidal volume producing volutrauma so this you have to be careful these are few of the advantages and disadvantages of pressure control ventilation so we discuss pressure control ventilation under four headings determinants time concept graphics and advantages and disadvantages thank you very much